Welcome in the 8th episode of our palm matching game tutorial. In this episode we will implement uh, the rotation of the puzzle. So every time you start the game, when you select, when you click off any of the puzzle, the puzzle will reveal the, the picture below. Okay, so let's get started. First of all, let's open our project and then let's go to our scripts folder and then the picture script. So in this script, first of all, below the update method, I will add another function. So it's going to be void on on mouse down this function will be called every time we select the picture so once we select the picture we will uh, implement the core routine to actually rotate uh, our puzzle okay so right below this all on mouse down function i will just create another function which will return the i enumerator okay make sure you're, you're returning the enumerator then i will call it loop rotation Okay, and then I will just pa pass the float angle and then bool first material. Okay, so inside this uh, loop rotation, I will just uh, create a few variables. So, first of all, will be var rot will be 0f, then const float. direction which is going to be the, di the the direction of the rotation then const float rotation speed i will just set it to 180 const float rotation speed will be equal to 90 uh, that's going to be the rotation speed one. You can name it differently if you like. Then a var start angle will be equal to angle. Var assigned will be equal to false. Okay, so we're going to make make use of this uh, of these variables. So inside our loop rotation, the first of all we want to check if is a first material. So this is if the, the we can see the first material, so the back of our puzzle. We want to do the y. Rot is less than the angle. And then we want to do the var step. Will be equal to time dot delta time times rotation speed one. Okay, and then inside this while loop, we want to do the game object dot get component, and we want to take the transform dot rotate. Okay, and then we want to rotate on the y axis, so new vector 3, and then we want to pass the 0 to 0. And then times step and times direction. Okay, so that's gonna be our new rotation. And then if the rotation is more or equal, start angle minus one, so minus two, and and then assigned will be equal to false. We want to call the apply apply first material and then assigned will be equal to true and then outside of the self statement we want to do the rot plus equal one times step times direction okay so we want to increase the rotation so this y loop will uh, will end at some point and then yield return null. Okay, so this is if you want to actually apply the first material so we can see the second one. So otherwise, we want to do the y angle is more than zero. We want to do the float step will be equal to time 
dot delta time times rotation speed. Make sure you use the first rotation speed, not uh, I mean the rotation speed zero, not the one. Okay, you can name it differently if you like. And then a game object, we want to take the transform component, get component transform dot rotate, and then new vector three zero two zero. So we want to rotate on exactly the same axis, time step, and time direction. Okay, and then we want to do the angle, minus equal, I'll be open braces, 1 times step, times direction. Okay, so we want to rotate it back. Okay, and then yield return null. Okay, so once we finish our core routine, we want to get the game object dot get component and we want to get the transform dot rotation will be equal to current current rotation okay we don't have this variable yet we will we will have to actually uh, we will have to actually i add it so let's scroll right at the top and below this private materials, I'm gonna add the private quaternion and then I will just call it current rotation. Actually let's let's make follow the name convention. And then in the start method we wanna actually store the, the current rotation of our of our puzzle. So current rotation will be equal to game object dot transform dot rotation okay so we're just gonna capture this rotation in the start and then we're gonna use it later and then we wanna go back now to the loop rotation function and then we wanna after the core routine is finished we wanna reset our rotation to the current rotation okay and then below this we wanna do if it's not the first material We want to apply second material okay and i think that's it so now we have our loop rotation function and we have to call this function from within our on mouse down so let's go to on mouse down function now and inside the on mouse down i want to call the start coroutine and then we want to call the loop rotation and i will just pass the 45 degrees and then the first material will be false okay so let's save everything now and then let's go back to unity and let's press play and see what what this code will will produce so if you press play you spawn some pictures you click on the puzzle and as you see the rotation is there but there is weird thing with the with this rotation that looks funny you can if you want to you can leave this effect if you like if you don't you can um, just do what i've done so in our prefab folder i will open the picture prefab and i will change this scale on the z to be 0 0.0001 okay so it's gonna be very very small so if you save this prefab now let's press play and then i spawn 20 pictures fruits and then when you press on the any of the picture the picture is revealed okay so the f these puzzles are working fine now so you can reveal any of the puzzles so i think that's it for this episode in the next episode we're gonna implement the behavior that once you reveal one and the, the second puzzle all of the puzzles will be flip, flipped back okay so during that time you will not be able to reveal any other puzzle but for now, let's just test again. Test uh, for the vegetables. If the vegetables working fine as well. So, yes, they are. Okay. 
So everything seems to be working okay at this point. So thank you very much for watching and see you again in the next episode.